3D Ground Scan. To create a 3D ground scan, enter the Ground Scan menu on the main page of the application. The 3D Ground Scan allows you to create 3D graphics based on your scans of a specific area. Scan Mode There are two scan options in the Ground Scan feature, Automatic and Manual. In Automatic Scan, you do not need to tap any button to count the signal pulse, but in Manual Scan, you need to tap the button on the device for each signal. First, you need to select the scan type, Automatic or Manual. Start Point You can set your scan start point from the lower right or lower left corner. To do this, you must select the left or right start point. If you start searching from the lower left corner, you should proceed to the next scan job on your right. If you select from the bottom right corner, you should proceed to the next scan job on your left. Scanning Method you can do your scans in zigzag or parallel. In zigzag scanning, you can scan the scan sequences back and forth. In parallel scanning, the starting point of each line should be right next to the starting point of the previous line and in the same direction. You should start the scan at your start point and end it at your ending point, as shown in the graph. When the number of signal pulses entered for each row is complete, you must proceed to the next series of scans. The direction of the measurement device should not be rotated when you move to the next row. Width Enter the number of rows you want to scan according to the size of the area to be scanned. For example, 10 rows. The distance between each row should be 20 cm to 30 cm on average. Height Select how many measurement signals must be present for each row. For example, 10 measurement signals. The distance between each measurement signal should be 20 cm to 30 cm on average. The more you increase the distance, the more difficult it becomes to detect small objects. After typing all settings, you can initiate the scan by typing the Start Scan button. In the middle of the scanning screen, you can see the immediate data that you get. If you select Manual Mode, you should tap the Start button on the front handle for each signal step. At the bottom, you can see the stop icon that allows you to stop scanning and the data icon that is active in manual scans. If you select automatic mode, after the signal step count for each row is completed, you will be requested to tap the start button. You should perform this procedure for each scanning row. The active bar in the top indicates the immediate measurement severity. After you start getting data, you will see colors such as green, red, yellow, and blue, according to the measurements you get. You can see all metallic objects and most objects with high magnetic effect as red, some as orange, cavities, earth fills, caves underground as blue, the earth without any changes in anomalies as green. You can see mineral soils and objects with a relatively low magnetic effect as yellow and orange colors. The application will create a preview after the entered signal step count and row count is completed. In this screen, you can save the obtained data or exit without saving. You should enter a file name if you want to save. You can enter a name for your scan or save it automatically under the date of the scan. You can examine this data in detail on the analysis screen. After you save the scan, you will be taken to the Files section.